Yo, today we have my personal goal exercises and I have planned to go through exercise six to exercise nine and hopefully keep it short and informative. And you kind of, again, you get to see into my mindset back in 2022 and see my thought process and what I wanted to achieve. And this was before I, I thought I even considered going online or even sharing any of these. All of these goals are, are listed. I never I never considered going public with them. I thought it was just something I could keep to myself. So in that way, you get the, the truest sense of my mindset back then. And of course, the I've written three things before. And, and the first thing is to extract the specifics, meaning take away the specifics of each goal I've written because in reality, the, the goals themselves, they, they don't really matter. But it falls onto the second point is to focus on the structure instead. You know, how I create the goals I uh, and what kind of pattern do I follow? What kind of system do I follow with these goals, etc. And third thing is, these are only examples for you. Like this is just examples for you to see how you would get into goal creation and how you could tap into that creativity and that side of you that can create goals now as you can see the dates are there look you can't these these dates you cannot change i cannot change them they're they're the actual dates so none, none of them are like so this is not like a lie i'm trying to put up front or anything like that and yeah i just want to make that clear so this was 7th of april 2020 uh 2022 that i've took a picture of it but i actually read in 21st of, of March and then, to be fair the dates don't really matter all, all we need to know is, is 2022 that was two years ago let's see let's see what I had to write now my goal for 2022 motivate 10 people to improve their lives why I want my words and actions to benefit the lives of others positively and the key thing here obviously so actually I haven't really said it but this is my first time reading it I haven't actually I haven't read it since I wrote it back then, but the key thing I can tell here is the difference in structure from the previous one being that I put the goal first and then I put the reasoning slash justification as to why I, I even want to achieve that goal. Secondly, following following up almost like a, like I already said, it's justifying why do I want to achieve that goal? And it kind of gets you to think more in depth about your motivations and it makes you think more about what's why do i even want to go after this and the more you start to understand that the more likely you are to be more determined to use more of your time and resources to achieve that said goal and judging from from these these things i've i've stayed true to my my love for inspiration and teamwork but i really do love being a part of a society and being a part of that that whole mindset inspiring others to kind of just get get going to what you want to achieve and yeah, so th that was a, that was a one different exercise from the from the previous ones. Now, the next one. Write down one goal for every week from now to five weeks from now, and it's a kind of like the whole thing about this, the goal process is that at that time for me it was something really new, and it's something that's it's really interesting once you get into something like goal creation because you can be really creative with it. Like how I mentioned in the start of the video, you can start doing whatever you want to do. Like you can switch it up. You can do this goal style, that goal style, this technique, that technique that you thought of, this one that you've seen an example of, etc. But this one here was was quite an interesting one because the way that you're able to to break down activities to weekly things, to daily things, to monthly things, it can really give you perspective on what you can achieve depending on the time that you have. And in this way, I put a week from now, practice consistency, two weeks, print a copy of my trading plan, which all trading related goals are like, they're, they're dead to me because I don't do that anymore. Three weeks, finish the autobiography of Malcolm X. Four weeks, finish the Quran audiobook. Five weeks from now, practice gratefulness. And... If I was to be very honest with the idea of practicing attitudes, it's not very measurable 
objectively because it's really it's up to my opinion as to whether I've practiced it or not and you won't really see that uh, physically but in itself not all goals need to be ob objectively measured you know what I mean via numbers or written stats some goals having your own subjective opinion on it is necessary because goals like practicing consistency you can tell yourself if you have or haven't and if you're an honest critique of yourself you will know that answer okay that's number seven number eight we have write down three goals for one minute and one year from now <laughs> so you have one goal that's telling you to write a, a goal 60 seconds from now and the next goal telling you write down a goal one year from now 365 days from now the difference is insane so <laughs> it really like the whole thing about this is that even looking back at it and knowing what it did to me like how it improved my, my mentality is that it really made me think about what can I achieve in 60 seconds what can I achieve in 60 minutes 60 days 60 years and it got me thinking about it because before I never really thought about it you know when you when you don't get into creating goals and stuff like that you don't really get into the specifics and you don't worry about when you're going to complete something you just you just put the goal out there but when you break it down like this you really start thinking about time wise because you need to value your time and time management valuing your time and understanding what you're capable of with what resources you have and who you know you know what I mean and all of those things with those into consideration it helps you build better goals and that's the whole point of this the whole point of practicing these goal creation things is to get better at it. and if you're getting better at it, you're doing a good thing one minute from now take off the weight of the world on my shoulders <laughs> you can do that in 60 seconds and you think you're a superhero <laughs> um making you think about if you do that for if you are very serious about your goals and you're not really just writing them just to write them just don't get into the habit of you're just writing goals to write them which i may start to fall into but if you really are serious about your goals and you write them you'll try your best to achieve it so in this way take off the weight of the world on my shoulders whether it's you know through the meditation aspect reading doing something i enjoy to take my mind off the worries and the stresses i had at that time even then i don't know what i was going through what what kind of things i was stressing over but having that having that 60 second goal there helped me kind of will help me focus on the things i enjoy and take that eye away from the things that are stressful to me practice patience practice peacefulness one year from now practice gratefulness practice mindfulness deepen my knowledge of islam and almost you know these these practice attitude goals they they go in all different categories of time because you can you can practice an attitude for five seconds ten seconds ten days ten years it's it's really because because of the fact of this it's not really measurable and it's something that comes from your mind you can time doesn't really play much of a restriction on on this now number eight or no number nine was it number nine yeah number nine okay so the 24th of march 2022 exercise nine write down five goals for the end of this month march end of the month and when you create a goal like this for the end of the month and you actually do keep it in mind and you're serious about it and you are quite disciplined towards achieving these things it really gets you driven to the point that you feel like you're responsible for these things and you are required to work hard to achieve them as opposed to setting you know saying like half half effort goals and that, that you've just thought about in your mind you haven't really taken any action towards it but when you write them down and you take it seriously like this for example you will feel more determined to, to see it through now read more of the autobiography of malcolm x read more of attacking currency trends keep consistency with <laughs> practice confidence refuse instant gratification uh, and you see a picture there it's like i was in my garden 
but but yeah i think that that's i, I still feel I still believe the thing that I said right before I read the goals about how setting a goal, setting these goals for the end of the month, it gets you really thinking that goal oriented mindset of I have things I'm responsible for and I should achieve. So I'm going to stick to it. And that element of responsibility and feeling that you have a, that a, a respect, how I'm going to adore, I keep saying the words I'm going to say again, but when you feel that, when you have that feeling of responsibility, you will see it through because you know that, you are the person that is responsible for, for, for making that thing be accomplished, you know? And I, I could go more into it, but I don't really want to talk myself in circles. And I hope that this has been beneficial because, again, these are all personal goals that I never really thought... I'm sorry about that. I never really thought that I would share, but I'm here now with this... My, my sincere interest is seeking the the benefit of you watching this video you not the people not, not everyone you specifically you you that's watching this i'm speaking directly to you and i hope this openness can provide some sort of help <laughs> in regards to your knowledge and your growth and if not well i tried thank you for watching